The rise of Kotlin multi-platform is real. Is it time to step away from Flutter, or are they able to coexist? I wouldn't worry about it too much. For now. Yeah. So I always get these typical questions about Flutter, like is Flutter better than this or why would you choose Flutter over that? And I always tell them there's no real wrong answer, as long as you don't use web-based frameworks like Ionic or Cordova, because is that even mobile development? Anyway, as much as I love Flutter, I won't push it if it doesn't make sense. If you already have an existing product, tech stack, team, or just have a look at your own skill set, then it might make more sense to go for something else. If you already know JavaScript or you have a team of developers that already know TypeScript, then it makes more sense to go for React Native. You don't want to go through the hassle of hiring new developers or letting all your existing developers take a course. I mean, it's fun, but business-wise, it just doesn't make sense. Now, with Kotlin Multiplatform, there's yet another kid on the block when it comes to cross-platform development. But I'm here to tell you that there's a clear difference. Kotlin Multiplatform is functional on multiple platforms, much like Flutter. So you have support for Android, iOS, web, and even desktop. It is, however, not a UI framework. This means that you can write all your business logic in Kotlin, deploy it on multiple platforms, but you will still have to write your separate UI layer for every platform that you want to support. Flutter, on the other hand, is a full-blown cross-platform framework, giving you the ability to write all of your code once from UI to business logic and deploy it on multiple platforms. This significant difference should give you a clear choice and proves their harmonious coexistence. Even Google itself stands by this separation and choice of technology. If you just need to share business logic between multiple platforms, go for Kotlin Multiplatform. If you need to share both business logic and UI between platforms to have a single code base for everything, go with Flutter. But what about Compose Multiplatform? The difference between Kotlin Multiplatform and Flutter is a clear one in my opinion. But what happens if we put Compose Multiplatform into the mix? Compose Multiplatform is a cross-platform UI framework by JetBrains. It's still a work in progress though. It's stable on Android through Jackpack Compose, and it's stable on desktop, meaning Mac, Windows, and Linux. On web, it's still in the alpha stage, and on iOS, it's still in the beta stage. So in that sense, Flutter is the clear winner here. It's way more mature than Kotlin Multiplatform and Compose Multiplatform are at the moment. But I am curious to see how things will pan out. Compose and Flutter share the same technique, as in that they both draw their pixels on an empty canvas. Both make use of declarative UI, both have a strongly typed language, they're both very suitable for full stack development, and they both offer very good interoperability with existing native apps. Is there even space for a similar framework then? And should you drop Flutter? I'll be honest with you. Compose Multiplatform does look very promising. Whether or not Flutter will live to tell the tale all depends on a few things. Things like the current adoption, community support and involvement, which is awesome, the added benefits of Compose, as well as the internal architecture. Flutter is set up in such a way that whenever they want to support a new platform, they only have to write a small platform-specific layer. Flutter runs its own engine, meaning that it leverages the same things on every platform. Only the small communication layer with the platform itself is different. This means Flutter can move fast and is very flexible. Apart from that, the move from the Skia rendering engine, the one that Compose also uses, to Flutter's own impeller engine is also a very good one to differentiate and improve compared to other frameworks. At the same time, interoperability with an existing native app can be hard at times, whereas the solution that Compose Multiplatform offers looks very easy to set up. I'll drop a link in the description below for more information on that. Next to that, the big benefit that Compose Multiplatform has is that it can already leverage a big pool of existing developers. 
Kotlin has been the go-to language of Android for years, and since 2021, Android also uses Jetpack Compose as their native UI framework, meaning that when Android developers will start using Compose multi-platform and Kotlin multi-platform, they'll feel right at home. For now, I wouldn't worry too much about Kotlin multi-platform as opposed to Flutter. Even Google says so. But do keep a close eye on the development of Kotlin multi-platform and Compose multi-platform because I do think it's going to be a tight race in the end. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Yeah.